how is it going everybody mr android here welcome back to a brand new video on this channel today i'm gonna show you some really cool one ui hidden features that you might not know about if you are a samsung owner then i'm sure you learn something new and useful in this video so stay tuned and watch it till the very end also let's aim for at least 1000 likes on this one with that said drop a like hit that subscribe button and let's get started we all know that samsung allows users to configure the power key and it is way more superior when compared to the action button that we have on the iPhone 15 Pro Max. If you just go into settings and search for side button, here you can configure the double tap and the long press of your power button. But there are only two functions for the long press. You can either set it to power off menu or launch the Bixby assistant. Now what if I tell you, you can assign more useful actions to the side key with the help of good luck. All you need to do is just open the app and install the Registar module. Once done, Go inside Registar, select side key press and hold action and turn it on. Now you could remap the long press of your power button to any of these functions. You can take screenshots, toggle your flashlight, access Google Assistant, put your phone in mute, you can open any of your favorite app and do lot more. I have set it in a way that whenever I double press, it launches the camera and when I long press, it turns on the flashlight. I think it's a really useful feature that can help you to get most out of the single button that is present on all Samsung devices. Let's say there is a setting you change very often. For example, I always keep changing the performance profile depending on how much battery I have on my phone. And in order to do that, I have to open the settings page. Go to device care. Here I need to go inside performance profile and then finally I can change it from standard to light. It's a long process and instead of doing this every single time, what I can do is I can create a shortcut for this setting so I can easily access directly from my home screen. Let me show you how you can do this on your phone. Again, you need to have the Registar module. Click on search options and enable this option that says I love creation of a shortcut. That's it. Now when you open the settings page and long press on the search results, it's going to give you an option to create a shortcut for that specific setting. Now if I go back, there is a new shortcut and I just need to click on it. It takes me right inside that setting. I don't have to navigate and go through different menus every time. Like this, you can create shortcuts for all your frequently used settings and put it in one folder. It will save a lot of your time. So I'll suggest you to download the Registar module and start creating these amazing shortcuts right now. The next hidden setting that you need to enable is inside your phone's gallery. If I open the gallery app, here it only shows the essential albums that I frequently access on my phone and it looks way less cluttered than having all unnecessary albums in one place. I need to tap on view all to see all the other albums that I have on my phone. Now if you want to enable this feature on your device, just click on the three dots menu, go to settings. Here you will find a brand new setting called select essential albums. If it is disabled on your phone, then just go ahead and turn this on. Once done. It only shows the album you select on the Albums tab instead of showing them all. You can have as many essential albums as you want to show up on the main page. Just click on the three dots, select essential albums and choose all the albums that you access frequently. I know many of you love using the Olesson display on your Galaxy device. But did you know you can also add widgets to the Olesson display and make it even more useful. Now let me show you how to do that on your phone. Just open the GoodLock app and install the Logstar module. Now go inside Logstar. Here you can customize both the lock screen and the Olesson display. Since we want to customize the AOD, you need to turn on the Olesson display. Here if you just tap on the clock, you get so many different styles that you can choose from and it is way more than what you actually get in these settings. Not only this, you can also add widgets by just tapping on the screen and you get this option called add widgets. Simply select that and here you can pick any widget from this list. You can apply weather widget, music widget, you can add all your reminders, calendar widget and it even allows you to add KWGT widget on your Olesson display. Once done, you can adjust the transparency and make it fully transparent to perfectly match with the Olesson display. I think it's a great way to customize and take your Olesson display to the next level. So you might have noticed that the app icons on my home screen look a bit smaller when compared to the actual default size that we get on phones running One UI. Well, if you're not a big fan of those huge One UI icons and you really want to reduce their size, then all you have to do is just install a good lock module called Theme Park. Now go inside Theme Park, select icons, tap on create new and then click on this arrow icon. 
Here you can easily increase or decrease the size of these app icons. You can also change the shape and there are so many different shapes that you can choose from. Other than this, if you tap on icon pack, here you can also apply different third party icons that you have downloaded from the play store. Once you are done customizing the app icons, simply click on save and then you can apply the theme directly onto your home screen. This way you can easily reduce the size of all these app icons and make it look a lot smaller. By default, Samsung only allows you to have a maximum of 5 icons in your dock. But did you know you can change that and have up to 9 of your favorite apps in the dock for easier access and it will also give you more space for all your widgets and the wallpaper. So the module you need to download is called Home Up, and once you go inside the Home Up module, select Home Screen and change the favorite max count to how many icons you wanna have at the bottom of your screen. I usually prefer to keep it at 6 app icons. Now since we are in the Home Up module, I'll also suggest you to customize and change the look of your recent apps menu. Just go inside Task Changer and here you can customize the layout type. I love using the stack view and I also like to enable this setting called mini mode. Once you turn this on, it basically shows the recent list at the bottom of your screen in order to make one hand operations easier for you. It's one of my favorite good lock feature that I love using on all my Samsung devices. Now let me show you a really useful security feature that Samsung added with One UI 6. If you go into the settings, scroll down and select security and privacy, here you will find this brand new feature called auto blocker. If you enable this feature, what it does is, it will keep your phone safe by blocking apps from unauthorized sources. It even checks apps that are installed on your phone for malicious activity and it blocks command when your phone is connected using a USB cable. I think it's a really useful security feature that Samsung added in One UI 6. And if you're really concerned about your privacy, then I will highly recommend you to enable this feature. So that's pretty much it for this video. These are some amazing tips and tricks for your Samsung phone. If you guys like this video, then be sure to hit that like button. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. I am Mr. Android and I will see you guys in the next one.